Okay, hello and everyone and welcome to Equad, the Equality and Diversity Filmmaker Film Festival. I'm Steve Mitchell and I'm your host for the evening. I've been working with adults with disabilities, creating theatre and film for over 30 years now, and it still feels like it's a struggle to get talents and skills recognised in the so-called mainstream. We've um, ourselves entered a few film competitions recently and not really had much luck, not had much of a kind of, not really heard a dicky bird really about any of them. And it concerns me greatly that people of diversity aren't valued, they're not recognised, and yet theatre, film, TV, these should be the ideal medium for our voices to be heard. So basically I thought I'd create my own festival with a live awards evening, and it was going to be in Stoke-on-Trent at the prestigious Spode Works, heart of the lotteries, heart of the potteries, and um, I was going to be able to thank Jeff and Stoke-on-Trent City Council for their support and have an absolutely brilliant evening there, but obviously COVID and lockdown kind of put a spanner in those works. So um, I just thought, well, we'll make a little festival and I'll advertise it through film freeway and straight away we started to get not tens but hundreds and thousands of entries from all over the world um in fact to add it up we've actually had 2404 entries from all across the world covering every diverse and equality based issue in the spectrum luckily i've had a few friends um, who've been uh, able to help me out um, watching these films and sifting through them and rating them and categorizing them. And we managed to, between us all, draw up a short list of 55 semi-finalists. So what I'd really like to do, first of all, is introduce you to the people who helped me do that. So Joanne, if you can come out here and basically unmute yourself and I'll pin you into the uh, spotlight. And Deb? <laughs> there you go. Excellent. Um, and of course, Carl is in here somewhere. Uh, we, have a, we have a room full of people here that we're sifting through to try and find everyone. And I'm trying to pin everyone in there as well. Um, and great stuff. So you've been watching all the films with me for the last few weeks, months. What, what have you thought to them? Oh, lots of the films are really good. It's been a difficult decision. It's been fairly, diff fairly difficult to through. work out. Yeah. yeah. They've been of very high quality, haven't they? Yeah, excellent. <laughs> uh, excellent. Carl, what did you think to all the films you watched? They were absolutely brilliant. It was very hard to come down to... 24 documentaries because they were so good. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, tonight, tonight's just part of that that we're going to be looking forward to watching and enjoying the night. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I know you've all got your favourites. Deb, did you have any favourites in there? Uh, I, to be fair, there were a few for me. <laughs> It was really hard um, to short this. Really hard. It was absolutely impossible. And uh, we don't know how our judges managed to even take them further than that because we think we probably ended up choosing the best, probably 55, 60 of them all in all. Um, I'm going to thank you guys. We're going to come back to you later on because you have managed to make an award all of your own. We've chosen um, between oh, us, we've knocked yeah, yeah. it down to about six and then we've chosen our judges' favourite, which we're going to show right towards the end. So I'll say thank you very much, guys, for all the help you've done. A nice big round of applause to you guys. Thank you very, very, very much. Hi. And I'm going to deep, deep in you as we go along. And um, we're going to go over to our first category. Now, our first category today um, is okay. music videos. And we're very, very, very lucky to have with us all the way from America, Ken Knox. We're very, very lucky to have um, Ken and Brandon and, and Thomas from the chairman of the board. So can we bring them on to uh, say hi to everyone? Hi, Ken. Hey, Steve. How are you doing? I'm doing great. 
Excellent. All the way from America over there. And what's yeah. the weather like? Is it... Uh, well, earlier, it earlier it was a British day, but right now the sun, the sun is shining. That's why you can't see me. I mean, because of the sun. <laughs> the sun is shining and it's probably about 60 degrees. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. We don't like that. We don't like that kind of weather in 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 Britain at all. <laughs> so yeah. You've been watching yeah. all these wonderful <laughs> films. What have you made of them? I let Brandon go first. Oh, the films were absolutely outstanding. Uh, a lot of creativity, a lot of diversity in terms of the range of the stories that were being told. Um, I love the films. Uh, great acting, great directing, just a lot of really great ideas and great stories being told. Right. And, and, and I echo what Brandon said. I mean, I would love to get inside some of the director's heads, minds, because it's great, great product that was put out. I asked you this earlier on, um, Thomas. Um, would you fancy any of these guys directing one of your music videos for you? Absolutely. I was amazed at the, the creativity also and how the minds work and how they were able to be able to put together Man, and bring Thomas to life their ideas. I've made my ear again. Brilliant stuff. Now, you've um, chosen three as finalists. Would you like to tell everyone your choices? Okay, out of syllabus, gender identity, director, Mihir Lely. Sadaf and Jamet, director. Call me astronaut, champagne, drag queen, director, Anna Haslinger. If it hangs between your legs, it's your sex. It physically manifests, it's your sex. But society thinks in twos doesn't mean that it is true. Gender identity is brought inside of you. If you want to be a boy or a girl, or you want your special fashion to unfold, you get to choose how you express and the way you want to dress. You get to choose how you would like to be addressed. Excellent. Well done, everyone. Great stuff. I brought me here in here, Mihil Eli, um, director of Out of Syllabus, Gender Identity. Absolutely brilliant there. Um, can you tell us anything about that? Um, so, yeah, so we started off with just a simple idea of trying to uh, introduce topics to adults that you would otherwise not be able to in schools. Like these topics, at least in India, aren't taught uh, that openly. So the idea was to use YouTube as a medium and try and tell these stories about uh, just a little introduction about uh, topics that you're usually not discussed in schools uh, through nursery rhymes and make it fun and entertaining to adults mostly. So that was the idea behind this. And the team of writers came up with the nursery rhymes and we sort of visualized the entire thing in a classroom. So it sort of made sense in the world itself. So yeah, that was the idea. 
brilliant accent. It, I love the way it's so kind of colourful. It's in your face. Uh, it just makes you want to kind of dance along and sing along with <laughs> issue-based songs. What yeah. more can you want? <laughs> Excellent. Now, um, Ken, Thomas and Brandon, you've been thinking very carefully about these uh, videos, all of these music videos, and you've come up with a winner. Is that the case? Would you be kind yeah. enough to announce who the winner is? Yeah, they, they, all the films were great. We loved them all. Absolutely. But, yes. And the winner is... Sadaf. Yeah. Sadaf. Steph, excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you very, very much. Thanks, Ken. Thanks, Thomas. Thanks, Brandon, coming all the way over from America. And Mir, where have you come from today? Uh, I'm from India, Mumbai. Excellent. So we are really, truly covering the world at the moment. <laughs> We're going to yeah. find some more people from all over the place. Absolutely excellent. Now, thank you. I'm going to um, remove some pins and remove some spotlights because we are now going over to Dame Berta, who is going to tell us all about the web series. So, Dame, are you there? Dame is there. I think you'll need to unmute yourself. You're very muted. This is that kind of Zoom thing, isn't it, where you get someone who comes through and uh, we get mutes all the time and we have to work out how to unmute people. Um, 
Hello. I'll send you a message. Oh, hello, there we go. Hello. How are you hello. doing? How's it, how's it over in uh, sunny, sunny Wales? I'm speaking now. I'm speaking. <laughs> hello, Stephen. Hello. <laughs> You know he's going to go uh, wrong, go wrong with me. <laughs> you know. Now you've been watching some um, web series. I have been watching some web series, and can I just say they've been absolutely amazing. I've been screaming at the television, laughing, and thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying myself. Their standard is absolutely phenomenal, but far better than I was expecting. Far, far better. Absolutely brilliant. So yeah, good. Excellent stuff. And um, you've chosen your top three web series, I believe. I have. Would you like to know what they are? I would absolutely love to know what they are, and then we may play some VT to see a little bit of them as well. Okay. Well, we're one called Tokens, which is the director's oh. winner for Jong. I hope I've got that right. And then we've got Pause, and the director is Iona Morrison. And Battle Dream Chronicles, which I've been screaming at the television, A New Beginning, and that director is Alan Bidard, I think. I'm sorry if I've got it wrong, Alan. <laughs> so, uh, why do you think... I'm Damar Lowry, and I'm auditioning for the role of gangbanger number three. Angry Dim Sum Diner. Taxi Driver number three. Pediatric Pancreatic Transplant Specialist. Is that even a thing? On call casting, we fill your role. You call. They are the Uber for actors. We need actors. We cast. You highlight the part of the well-built tattoo bouncer. No money back guarantees. This is the talent from our friends at On Call Casting. I remember dancing in Cinderella when I was your age. What, I have to use him? Nothing shall go crazy. There's no being Look, you don't understand. Music is the only thing I'm good at. If I don't have that, then what else am I meant to do? She said she was going to come and it was going to be abs. I just want to forget it ever happened. On sera libre ou on sera morte. Mais ce soir, on ne sera plus esclave. Vous allez bientôt comprendre les vertus de la soumission. Soutenir. Tu as perdu une bataille, mais tu peux encore gagner. Smashing, excellent. Um, as I started to ask you, probably when the VT queued in, um, why have you been screaming at your screen? Well, I wasn't expecting them to be that good. And I got so engrossed, oh. especially with one of those, which finished quite abrupt. And I was really, uh, well, I, no, I wasn't happy. <laughs> I wanted <laughs> you to just carry on. <laughs> and they don't carry on. They stop, Stephen, no. the series. They stop, they stop dead. And I don't like it. <laughs> and you wanted to see the rest of them? Well, I've got to go find them now. Oh, you've got to go hunting, aren't you? There are yep. links from our website, from the Equad um, Equality and Diversity Film dot com website. You can go and find all the links to the films there, so you can Good. go and try and find those series and really kind of saturate yourself in them. Um, you have chosen a winner. I have chosen a winner, and may I have say? We- it's a very good winner because it's the one I was screaming at the television with. <laughs> and the winner is Pause. Nothing shall go crazy. There's no being hard. You are. Look, you don't understand. Music is the only thing I'm good at. If I don't have that, then what else am I meant to do? 
she said she was going to come and it was going to be abs. For fuck's sake, Joe. It's not picking up. Maybe he's not feeling well. I'm trying my best to help you, Joe. Why aren't you listening? Are you in love with me? Yes. Come on. Steve is back. What's wrong with me? I was changing. Jason, right? Right. So, how are you feeling now? What do you mean? Like, after the crash and everything. Get away from me! I told you, I never wanted to see you again! I guess I'm okay. I'm still alive. How's your mum doing? Yeah, she's fine. Look, I don't really want to talk about it. And I think I'm okay, see? Cause it's still on my mind. I just want to forget it ever happened. Absolutely brilliant. Like I say, you can go over to the website to check out all the films that have been entered. I say all the films, 2000. I couldn't quite get them onto the website. So I've just listed all the semi-finalists on there, 55 of them. Now, we're going to whiz over. Um, when I said earlier on that, uh, Dame Berta, you were judging this one, um, a lot, everyone's been involved in the judgment. Um, everyone's been involved watching the films and helping us choose the best films. I'm going to go over now to Alan, um, who helped us choose the best um, animations. So I'm going to pop a pin in on Alan there. Hello. There you go. Hi, Alan. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Great stuff. Now, you've watched, um, amongst other things, all of the animations. You're a bit of an animation whiz yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're all, as everyone else has been saying, excellent. Excellent quality for all of them, really. It was a hard decision to uh, whittle those down. Um, so, yeah, yeah, great stuff. I, I was going to say, how what, what sort of criteria were you using when you were judging all the films? Well, obviously, the... Uh, the uh, <clears throat> about the diversity criteria that you um, laid out, which was great, um, um, but also the technique and um, actually the diversity of the actual animation techniques itself. I was looking at those as well. And um, it's great to see how, how different they were as well. Uh, different styles, different techniques and not all um, sort of standard either. So. Brilliant, excellent. So diversity all round. And that, that's absolutely right. That's what we're kind of looking for, really. You've managed to hone it down to how many films? There's four in this, this category. But they, it was Some of the categories were so tricky. We were so kind of torn between them. We couldn't... Oh, yeah, it was hard to reduce just down to 10 or 12, let alone four. Would you be kind enough to read out the four finalists? Yeah, so for the second time running, we've got Out of Syllabus, Gender Identity, directed by Mihir Lil. We have Left Unsaid, directed by Mei Lian Ho. The Virus and Me, directed by Soline Grichard. And Battle Dream Chronicles, for the second time, A New Beginning, directed by Elaine Bidard. Excellent, let's watch those. between your legs it's your sex it physically manifests it's your sex but society thinks in two doesn't mean that it is true gender identity is brought inside of you if you want to be a boy or a girl 
Or you want your special fashion to unfold You get to choose how you express And the way you want to dress You get to choose how you would like to be addressed When I was younger, I would eat the crust of a pizza before the pizza itself. Ce soir, on sera libre ou on sera morte. Mais ce soir, on ne sera plus esclave. Vous allez bientôt comprendre les vertus de la soumission. Soconnier. Tu as perdu une bataille, mais tu peux encore gagner la guerre. Et par cette victoire, tu es le maître qui est en eux, et l'esclave qui est en moi. Excellent stuff, brilliant stuff. Um, so hard to make a choice, but I believe, Alan, a choice has been made by the judges. Um, just to let everyone know, what we do is we get every single judge, as Alan said, really, to go through a whole set of criteria and mark on those criteria. And then we add all the marks up, divide by all the criteria, and we come up with an average, um, which we average out across all the judges, which gives us our final, shall we say, winner. And in this case, the winner of this, um, the animation films is... It is... Out of syllabus, gender identity. Yay! Good job. Told you it was worth welcoming. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's all right. How many films has that? Uh, how many films? How many awards has that film won now? Uh, so it's been nominated at about four to uh, six to seven festivals. It's won about three. This being the third. Yeah. So. Stuff. And how, how are you finding getting your work out into the mainstream? It's quite difficult because I'm a freelancer. Uh, so my mm -hmm. projects come as and when like they are scheduled, not according to a timeline that I have in mind. So uh, so to make something of a project and then really like try and get it out there and like get an audience for it becomes a little bit difficult. But the idea is to put in a lot of effort and make that product uh, so good enough for it to like travel by itself and not put too much effort behind that work hard enough to like get something that you're proud of by the end of it so I think that's it I think that's absolutely right and I guess you feel very proud of that one oh definitely this was something and good. these projects are very hard to come by so like I definitely was very happy when uh, the writers approached me to animate this so oh, you thank can, you very you much so much creativity to like put into something like this it's it's once in a lifetime sort of a thing. Brilliant. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> well, well done. Thank you very, very much. And thank you to everyone who put films in. We have really enjoyed watching them. Um, it's been so good to see, like you say, so much talent out there. I'm going to now deep in Alan. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to uh, deep in Mia. And we're going to move on over to our next section, which is the best documentary, and we're going to invite Satnam Rana Grindley to join us. If I can find Satnam, oh, you're already pinned in there. I'll pin you as well so I can see you, so I can talk to you. Um, Satnam, you've been watching all these films with us. What have you made of them? Um, I have, and I've had several sleepless nights as well because <laughs> they've played on my mind, some of them, and that's them actually... A testament to the quality of documentaries that were entered. Um, 
for me, everybody has a story to tell and a documentary takes you into another world, another person's perspective. It uh, broadens your own knowledge. Sometimes it helps you discover something brand new. And all of those emotions were felt as I watched um, the entries. They were just outstanding. And it's actually quite difficult, very difficult, in fact, to, to pick winners when the quality is so high and the subjects are just so deep and important and equally as important to each, as each other. So I thoroughly enjoyed watching the, 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 the shortlisted films. And then we have come up with a smaller shortlist as well. You've, you've judged one or two um, two of these before. You're not you're not kind of a novice, shall we say? I think uh, several people in the room have. Um, it's it's been a hard choice, hasn't it? As you said, uh, would you be kind enough to let us know who the top is? It three. It's four. We have, we have top four documentaries, and um, so the yeah. first one is um, "We Are Nomads: A True Story of an All Woman Migration in Altai." Um, by director Marinelle Melvade, I think De Jesu, is that right? Um, um, the second one is There's Still Someone in the Woods, directed by Teresa Turriera Pigbo, I think. Um, that's how you pronounce it. Do forgive me if I have pronounced your names wrong there. Leher, The Wave of Empowerment, directed by Livia Alcalde and Chiara Nadon. And then finally, Sex Sin and 69, directed by Sarah Foley. <clears throat> and I think we're going to see some of those films. We are. Bosnian war that it's now gone on for nine months and that means the first babies are now being born to women raped during the ethnic cleansing of their villages. 26 years ago my mother was struck by a fate I would never wish to anyone. She survived the war rape and she gave birth to me. I cannot imagine how these women feel. The psychological damage is something which I believe is not repairable. We are at heart a very barbaric country, dominated by men, where violence against women is the norm. Every time my partner walks out that door, I am afraid. We often see a retelling of history where conspicuously so many people are not included. If we're not recognized as being queer enough or as being Canadian enough or whatever enough, then our stories are not going to be told. We're not trying to take away anything from anybody else. All we want is what everybody else has. Canada must be one. Canada must be progressive. And Canada must be a just society. Brilliant. Excellent. We were joined by Marinelle, who uh, directed yes. We Are Nomads film. We're also joined by Chiara, who um, helped direct the Leha, the Wave of Empowerment. Um, Marinelle, that was a very, very powerful story there. Um, did you actually follow those ladies all the way through the desert? What, what, what's the backstory to the film? Actually, it happened during the pandemic last year, a year ago. So 
Um, so yeah, I met the women, Kazakh women, because I was uh, doing some research in Mongolia and uh, just uh, realized that the migration is a natural part of their tradition. And so the women were just excited to practice what they know about camel packing and, and walking without the men and trying to relive their tradition. So we were inspired to, because I was stuck in Mongolia, I, I decided, you know what, this is worth the story to tell. And, you know, I might as well just stick around. And I, I I basically had all local crew do the work, uh, all Mongolian uh, nomads uh, work uh, with the production team, except for me as the foreigner. So um, it was amazing. I learned a lot and I thought it was just an, a brilliant idea to just share it with the world. And well, people, the women are leaders. <laughs> brilliant. I think the um, lockdown has affected us all and forced us all to work in very, very, very many different ways. Um, Kiara, how have you had to work in different ways during lockdown? Or have you just kind of let it ride and just carried on as normal? Sorry, I didn't understand the question. <laughs> Could you repeat? Please? Oh, okay. Have you um, have you had lockdown over there? Have you had any kind of response to the virus over the last year? Um, no, we shot the movie um, previously. It was shot in two thousand seventeen, so right. we didn't have any kind of problems like that. Yeah, the world was oh, normal. <laughs> okay, in that case, excellent. Um, I'm going to go over to um, Satnam again. Would you be kind enough to announce the winner for us, please, Satnam? I would be. May I share something with everybody um, before I do? Um, I follow Humble the Poet on Insta, and um, I was reading a bit of his book, and it sort of resonated with me as I was watching these films, and just wanted to read a line out of it. All of our lives are beautiful messes, and no one else knows how it feels to have our experiences or how much we hold on to, or how much longer we can go on. However, documentaries do give you a taste of all that. So um, congratulations to all of you for entering and making it to um, the, 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 the final list. But the winner tonight is, I'm delighted to announce, Leher. Thank you. <laughs> force of millions of people in movement for drastic social change. Acid attacks are often preceded by stalking or other forms of harassment. And you could have stopped it there. The government has actually failed to look after such women. Acid attack victims have fought back courageously. It is the conduct of acid attack victims not to shy away and retreat into a corner, but to come up in the battle straight up front. I cannot imagine how these women feel. The psychological damage is something which I believe is not repairable. It's all about abusing the woman. It's not about acid. The acid is just an instrument. Thank you very, very much. Absolutely beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff, Kiara. Uh, is there anything you else you'd like to add before we move on? Yeah, I'm really glad that you you picked our film because um, it's been a long process to to make this this film happen, and we want to give a voice to these amazing women who are just fighting every day. And it's um, like in every documentary, it's amazing when you you give voices to people to 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 speak up. And and in your festival, it's amazing also what you're doing because you give to diversity the space and the time to exist. And and we're really really glad that you do this. So thank you to choose this film. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much for entering your film. It's been, like I say, amazing that we've had so many entries. Um, absolutely brilliant to be able to show them off as well. So again, thank you very much to Satnam. Thank you very much, Marinelle. Thank you very much, Keala. Okay, we're going to move on now to... 
and trying to remove pins at the same time as introducing things. We've got the best short films coming up. Our best short film category is going to be um, announced and introduced by uh, Mr. Mick Scarlett. Are you there, Mick? I am indeed. Hello, Steve. How are you? All right. <laughs> I'm very well. Thank you very much. How are you? Yes, good, good, good. You know, it's uh, it's quite fun to do something different on Zoom. I've been uh, in meetings nearly, oh God, it's so long, I can't remember. Uh, so it's quite nice to do an award ceremony now and again. So this is great fun. <laughs> I see most of your work on Twitter. You do a lot of advise, advisory work from what I can see. I do. Um, I used to be... Yeah, I used to be kind of more media focused and I still do a lot of media work, but I also branched out into um, sort of education and equality uh, around disability. Uh, and so I do a lot of work around that. Um, and I'm also addicted to Twitter. Uh, I've not kind of got so much into Instagram, mainly because at this age, people don't want to see pictures of my face all the while. Um, <laughs> and Facebook is just full of trolls so i kind of stick to twitter where i can have a nice argument with as many people as i like and block them if they get on my wick <laughs> my first troll earlier on i've never really had a troll on facebook but um someone I actually am, dived on and was was a bit trollish about I, this I as actually, well i actually once uh, used to review the news for sky sky news and i went on yeah. and i genuinely said why doesn't everyone just try to get on a bit more and i got death threats so apparently that's just too pinko liberal lefty for some people um ironically the person that sent the death threat did it through facebook so my wife yeah. traced them back obviously because they had a facebook account and said thank you very much for your comment mick scarlet but far too busy to reply to you at the moment <laughs> so there you go they're, they may be trolls but they're not bright <laughs> It's fairly easy to trace people on Facebook. Anyway, we could go on and digress. Let's talk about films. Let's talk about films. You've been watching all kinds of films for us over the last few weeks. I have. Um, what do you make of them? It's been an amazingly high standard. And it kind of, when you said there are, and gave me the list of films to watch, I was like, how many? Uh, admittedly, I know that you watched 2,000 or something. So it's like, you know, you've really gone above and beyond. Um but actually, the two and a bit days I spent stuck in my little laptop were joyous. Um, there were so many. It, it was like every film was great. And so choosing any one was a real chore and a real task. There were some that just gripped me. Um, I must admit, I am a fan of Battle Dream Chronicles. Uh, it didn't win, <laughs> but it won in my heart. And I, I've actually bought it and downloaded it. Because <laughs> I have to know what, end, what happens in the next. Um, uh, but there was just so many. So, and it was nice to see so much diversity and people telling their stories. One of the things about being disabled or from any sort of excluded group is you don't get to tell your stories. Your stories are told and normally from a very stereotypical view. So an event like this and the films that you champion allow the public to see the reality of life. And I think you know, some you see the pain, some you see the joy. And I think that's the key to this whole awards and to this growth in equality and diversity in film. We see so many same stories over and over and over and the same tropes. And the industry is missing out. And I think that all the films that, you know, I, I watched highlight that so well that it's time that the mainstream industry realises that actually there are so many stories out there that they just never tell because they're too busy telling the same ones over and over again. Absolutely. We'll have to talk and work on that one. Mm. I'll tell you what, you've managed somehow, I say you, the judges have managed somehow again to uh, shortlist, I say shortlist, yes. to bring in a, a, a set of finalists um, out yeah, of... And I'm, I'm such a lovey, and I've done so many of these awards, but I've got my own <laughs> gold award card. And so the finalists are, and I'm reading this, Intolerance, Giuliano Giacomelli and Lorenzo Giovenga, Innocence by Ben Reed, and The Right to Life by Olga Koliva. <laughs> I 
you making excuses for you? Yeah, it wasn't Tate. His son. I didn't ask them to send you here. It's bad enough Mike being the only fucking guy who gave me a job without you acting up. You should stop doing what Mike tells you. Listen, all the residents of, uh, of the bed. Mike, it's OK. I'm handling it. I've left something in the kitchen for you. Why don't you go and get it? Brilliant stuff, brilliant stuff. It makes right. it so hard to choose, doesn't mm. it? I'm just going to throw you straight in there. Um, okay, are you, well. Can you get your go. lovely and, envelope out? And the winner is Innocence by Ben Reed. Yay! Brilliant stuff, excellent stuff. Now, we should have some VT there from Ben. Have you got the VT there, Jay? Hello, my name's Ben Reed. I'm the writer and director of Innocence. Just want to say a huge thank you for this award. Um, it means a lot to myself and to everyone involved in the film, uh, especially coming from a festival that is doing so much to support and encourage inclusion in the arts and in film. And it means a lot to everyone. And I look forward to hopefully presenting further films to the festival in the future. Uh, please keep up all the great work. And for anyone who wants to see the film, it'll be available to watch from our website, innocence to film.com from tuesday afternoon onwards all the best cheers bye um listen mick thank you very very much thank for you. joining us hang around with everyone else and we'll uh, i can see sat and giggling there in the background <laughs> i'll do you a swap i'll do you a swap you come do this and i'll see if i can have a cool, glass yeah. of yeah. a few minutes right uh, we're going to bring nicholas on now nick leaves um and I'll do a little bit of swapping over there with the pin. Now, um, Jay's beaten me to it. I'm watching a set of screens. Everyone at home is watching a completely different set of screens. Um, Nick, how have you enjoyed looking at all of these amazing films? Uh, Steve, I had a great time. Thank you very much. I thought um, they were very diverse. They came from countries as far as uh, Brazil and Iran and India and um, Portugal. So it's wonderful to have a dip into lots of different cultures and to see what, you know, um, how different countries express themselves through through films. So I had a wonderful time. Thank you. Excellent stuff. And we know you, of course, because you came and helped out on a little film with us and you worked alongside our guys um, producing some, again, I, I guess it was kind of all about diversity, equality, getting kind of people noticed, getting people's skills noticed. Out of the films that you've watched and helped judge with all the other judges, have you come up with a top three or four? I have, Steve. And the top three is The Composer by Alan Newman, A Day with Jerusa by Vivian Ferreira, and The Reluctant Crime, directed by Arvind Pratap. Brilliant stuff, and that's it. אני חייב להגיד לך משהו, אתה מבטיח שזה לא יצא ממך. החלטתי לספר לך את האמת, קטע שונה. אנחנו מחפשים את המלחינה. ככה אנחנו קוראים לה בשב"כ. ואתם בסכנה. זאת לא הפעם הראשונה. פעם אחרונה כמעט קטעה תקליט דיפלומטית. אם אתה לא מאמין לי, תשאל את השכן. תשנה אותך. אתה בסכנה. אהוד, יונתן ושרה, אני מכיר אתכם די טוב. למדתי וחקרתי עליכם המון זמן. ומה חשבת שחברת את הבור הזה, אה? עבור מי הבור הזה? זה עבורך.
Brilliant set of films again there. Absolutely wonderful stuff. Um, Nick, were you able to choose a top film out of all of those? I was. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> and um, the winner is A Day with Jerusa, director Vivian Ferreira. And um, I would like to just mention the two actresses that played the leads in this, who are Leah Garcia and Deborah Marsal. Absolutely brilliant. With the lightest of touches, they give such depth. So this really is a film um, that uh, needs to be seen. So well done all. It's excellent. It just draws you in, doesn't it? It's just gentle. It just goes and you just go yeah. with the flow. And all of yeah. a sudden, there you are. Um, let's watch a little bit more of it. Dona Jerusa, a senhora tem algum sabão de preferência? Hoje em dia, até sabão está metido à besta. Antigamente, só tínhamos sabão em pedra, um sabão duro, bom, cheiroso. Com um pedaço só, minha mãe lavava sete trouxas de roupa de sete dondocas diferentes. Absolutely beautiful. And again, the thing with that is the music, the music, it just draws mm. you in. And music's mm. so important. It was so lovely to have um, Ken and Brandon, who are still in here, they're listening. I think Thomas is in there somewhere. Um, music's so important in film. It transports us. It takes us on a journey, um, which why is why the music videos were very important. Nicholas, thank you very, very much for being with us. My pleasure. Um, thank you very much. Now, we're going to move back. I'm going to introduce Carl to you again, Carl West. So I'm going to do a little bit of swap of the over. Carl, are you there? Yes, you are. Ah. <laughs> Relaxing. <laughs> are you chilling back and laying, laying down and enjoying all the films? I am, yeah. Excellent stuff. Now, you were one of the, um, like I say, the early judges who were in, involved with and taking all these 2,000 films down to about 55, 60 different films. Um, was that a hard process? It was. It was very hard. Because, like I said earlier on, when we first got introduced, we, was, we went through, two, well, over 2,000 films, and we got down to 55 to 60 films. And then from that six films, we got down to six films that we, uh, the judges, really, really liked on diversity, equality, and what's more important is equality and diversity is really important to me because I have a learning disability and I believe that equality is about everybody enjoying life to the best they can. And the films that we've seen, that we've dug down from the six, have actually been all about diversity and equality. So I am glad that I, I've got the privilege to do the Judges Awards final list. And we have Brilliant. got six I films. I noticed I've Mick got... there giving a little bit of a cheer in the background. Excellent stuff. <laughs> so these six films, can you tell us what they are, please, Carl? Yes, we have got... Honor oh, me. Director, you didn't tell me who the directors are, Steve, so I'm a bit lost. I'm terribly sorry, the... yes. I, 
I just sent you the, the list of the films, didn't I? So just say who they are and we'll see if we can find some directors in the room. Um, all of me, say Edison's Right to Life, You're a Guy and Freedom. Brilliant. Let's have a look at those, uh, well, I say not all of them, but about 30 seconds of each of those six films, please. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping. Lifted seats while I was sleeping. And the vision that was planted in my to send you here it's bad enough my being the only fucking guy give me a job without you acting up you should stop doing what mike tells you listen all the residents of uh, gone to bed mike it's okay i'm handling it i've left something in the kitchen for you why don't you go and get it C'est lui là Alors écoute moi bien frère Maintenant tu vas prouver que dans la famille on a des couilles Alors tu vas et tu fais comme on a dit sinon je te jure je te fume ta race Tu m'as compris Bon oh, est-ce que tu m'as compris là ouais, bon, Alors vas-y Excellent stuff. Good choice, judges. Um, how you arrived at those six out of 2,000. I, I keep saying it. I keep saying it. Carl, you have there in your hands a winner. Can you tell I us who, the, who you I, have chosen as the winner? a lot of time doing this, but our winner is Innocence by Ben. Really? Innocence. It is. Can we have a look at Innocence again? It's such a beautiful film. Let's have a look at Innocence once more. I need you to stop what you're doing right now and you need to come with me. Why? What's happened? Someone died yesterday when your brother was on duty. Could mean he's in a lot of trouble. I don't know what him happened. Can you identify this man? But that's my little brother, Dylan. He probably sees you as a burden. He's got a record, GBH, a 
and drink driving. He's my brother. Come on, drink up, Sarah. What have you got against Mike? Nothing. How are you, Dylan? You seem a bit tense. Don't get fucking touching. Take your medication. Come on. I can't keep making excuses for you. You should stop doing what Mike tells you. Absolutely beautiful film. Like I say, all of these films are up on the website, Equad Equality and Diversity Film Festival. Um, Carl, I'd like to thank you and all of the other um, judges and everyone who's helped make this process um, happen, really. As I keep saying, such a big choice, so hard to do, but everyone's got, got involved and really made it happen. Now, um, the people that we put all these films out of out for are so important to us, if you like, our friends, our fans, our family. Um, this is what the festival's really, really about, sharing our talent, sharing our skills with as wide an audience as possible, and really to make it all accessible. Um, so with, with that, we decided to run a people's vote in the background, and we had a page up where people could go and choose their own favourite film. And again, we've had 3,000 plus votes come in on that. So I've invited um, Sir Richard Long to join us today. Um, Richard, you work with photography and sculpture and um, have been kind enough to pop in and give out the award. And I'm zooming through all of the cameras to try and find Richard. Um, everyone else can see you, but I can't. <laughs> ah, there we go. Hello, Richard. How are you? Hello, Steve. Hello, I'm fine. <laughs> Good. How's you the technology too. doing? How are you doing with the technology? Is it is it okay I'm, for you? I now? can hear you perfectly. Brilliant. Absolutely excellent stuff. Now, how um, how have you found today watching all of these films? Well, it's um, it's incredible. You know, it's very admirable. What you're doing, wonderful. I, I, I yeah, wish I'd it, really it, seen these films. Obviously, I haven't seen them, but we'll we'll make sure that you can. We'll get some links out to you there. Um, there's such an amazing array of talent out here, such an amazing yeah, array yeah. of diversity and everything like that. Um, Richard, you've got, I hope, in front of you the list of um, the people's choices, the people's votes. Um, and would you be kind enough to announce them for us? Well, I have indeed, yes. I've got three. Uh, so there's um, two deaf travellers, Ali the Blind Boxer, and the third one is One Piece of the Puzzle. Okay, great stuff. Let's have a look at those films, please. फोड़ दे अंधे को, no mercy. Champion पैदा होता है क्या? उसे बनाना पड़ता है, और यही तो काम है कोच का. अरे मार ना मार ना, गुस्सा है यार, मार, मार ना मार ना, मार. with Malaikowicz. He was just frustrated because he couldn't 
communicate and he can't get what he was trying to say across and it's just adjusting to well everyone had to adjust to him and he has to adjust to us or even like with friend he has friends but because they don't know some of these quirks and everything it's hard Brilliant stuff, absolutely wonderful. Now, this this isn't really, let's be honest with you, this isn't about winners um, in any sense of the word. This is really about getting these films seen, getting people out there, getting issues out there, getting diversity, equality out there. We've got BJ and Rene, who um, were both, uh, between them, responsible for Ali the Blind Boxer and One Piece of the Puzzle. Um, Lovely. Thank you very, very much for joining us. Where have you come from, by the way? Which part of the world are you from, Bijoy? Hi, I'm Bijoy. I'm from Pune, a city in India, in the west coast of India. It's called Pune. Brilliant stuff. And you made Ali the Blind Boxer. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that and about your experience making it? Yes. Um, so Ali the Blind Boxer is about uh, deals with blind boxing, which is... Uh, so in boxing game, if you know, uh, uh, eyesight is mandatory. So there's a huge social discrimination that is blatant in this sport. And we wanted to take a look at that and decided to make a film uh, to see if at all uh, a blind person doing boxing, whether it is a technical impossibility or it's a mindset issue. And therefore, uh, the protagonist in this film, uh, a blind uh, a boy named Ali, uh, the cast is uh, Shabir Sheikh, who is uh, who is blind since birth. So he has acted in this film as a blind boxer, and he got trained in boxing. And uh, someday soon, he might actually be India's first blind boxer in reality. So our goal of this film was to uh, was to look at inclusivity and uh, really challenge the the deep rooted social prejudice that uh, physical dimension determines your potential, which is so wrong. And this film essentially takes a position uh, in that direction. So thank you so very much. Well, thank you very much for sharing it with us. Uh, Rene, one piece of the puzzle. Um, yeah. Where did that come from? Um, so one piece of the puzzle, it's my first documentary that I've made, and it's about my youngest brother, Malika, who's autistic. Um, mm. And to be honest, the idea came about because seeing him grow up, I've only ever seen him as my young brother who's adorable and like there's just pure love there. And I noticed that um, there's a lot of misconceptions about autism and I wanted to show that though my brother um, has autism, he is still just a kid and he plays and he has fun and it meant a lot to me because um, we interviewed my mum in the documentary as well so we heard everything from her point of view and yeah it's just it it means so much that like it's in the people's vote and like it's in the top three because it means so much that like everyone's just enjoyed watching it and it, it's really cool. Well, thank you. And thank you again, like I say, for sharing it. And thank you to everyone for sharing all of their um, videos, all of their films with us. Richard, um, you have there the results, the final um, choice of the people, if you like. Um, would you be kind enough to announce it? Yes. Um, so the, uh, the winner is um, Two Deaf Travellers. Two Deaf Travellers. Let's have a look at Two Deaf Travellers. Thank you.
Brilliant, excellent stuff. Thank you. I'd like you to bring everyone in now, just um, everyone in the room. Uh, thank you ever so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for submitting your films. It has been such a process, as we say, watching all of those films, absolutely astounding um, amount of quality, amount of talent, amount of skills outside there. And I think that's that's the important thing, really, to share all of this talent, share all of these skills um, onto the mainstream if we can. Um, we've all got connections. We've all got ways to do it, I'm sure. Um, so thank you very much for being part of this project. Thank you very much for being here um, on 2021 and what a year it's been with uh, the virus and lockdown and all kinds of things impacting on our work. Um, you can find all of the semi-finalist films, as I've said before, on equadfilmfestival.com. So please go and watch and share. Tell your friends, spread the word, celebrate diversity and equality. Jay, um, thank you very, very much for... Um, doing all the tech stuff and getting everyone into the right places and showing everything on the screen. Please give a big hand to Jay. Excellent stuff. I have to mention a friend of mine, Sam, who can be with us today. Sam um, was instrumental in the early part of this and helped make it uh, happen. Sam, I will know. And essentially, that's pretty much it. If you want to find out more about our judges, find out more about the films, like I say, go and check out the website, go and find us on Facebook. Um, Thank you very much. I've been your host, Steve Mitchell. We'll see you all soon, hopefully, again. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you.